Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I've started the video with the unboxing. From the very first video in my channel, I've done a comparison video between the Hobo bag in small size um, versus the Gabriel backpack in small size. I used to have two Hobo bags in black color and silver color. And I always thought Hobo bag in small size was too small for me. Um, but you know at the same time the medium size is too huge so I thought like if there is like a size in between the small and medium size it would be perfect and this is the perfect one that I've always wanted which is a new medium size so I'm just gonna do a comparison video this one versus the small size and I'm just gonna show you how to you know style this this drab with other bags as well so yeah with that said let's get started so, yeah i'm just gonna do a brief review on this bag in terms of the size and weight so let me measure the size first around 26 or 7 centimeter and the height is about 16 centimeter and the width is about six centimeters so yeah, this is not really huge bag but it's you know pretty huge enough that you can put you know so many things that you always carry it's kind of scary to weigh this bag because it has so many you know so many chains and the handle is pretty huge i think let me measure the weight as i expected pretty heavy bag 886 in grams the medium size classic double flap is around this size but then you know the weight for that one is around 600 just in case you missed that from my previous video it's around it's 586 in grams so it's a little bit less than 600 and i think this could be a perfect comparison with the new medium size this is way back in new medium size this is it's maybe because of this strap around 961 in grams so it's almost one kilo just like the classic double flap in jumbo size the size difference so whoa, well, yeah these are pretty much comparable so this is about 28 centimeter in length and 27 and the width is pretty much similar so you can you can see that these two bags are pretty much comparable um, the reason why I got this hobo bag with the strap is that the strap is really useful that you can you know hold the bag and carry the bag like this on crook of your arm so it's really versatile um, to carry the bag and also you can use uh, the chain strap here uh, from the comparison video hobo bag versus gabber backpack i've showed you um, different ways to wear this bag so if you're curious if you want to find out how to wear this hobo bag in different ways um, please check that video i'll put the link i thought this strap would be so chic with boy bag this is called so black um, I I think this is really chic, but with this strap, it'll be even more chic. So let's try that. So yeah, the strap is removable, so it's really, really useful strap. I've seen people selling this bag without the strap. So the strap was used to be here, but then they just, you know, use, they just keep the strap and just sell the, the hobo bag by itself. I think that's a pretty smart way to do it. So let's try that. Like so. So you can carry the bag like this. And I've seen boy bag with the handle like here. 
it was really bulky to have handles like on the boy bag itself but this removable strap is less heavy than those straps on boy bags so i think it's really useful let me compare this hobo bag with the small size hobo bag that i have oh it's this one in metallic silver color um this is i think this is from 2017 or 16 i don't remember maybe yeah 17 i think um, one thing that chanel changed uh, usually the stitching was located in the middle but then in a later version or newer version of hobo bag had the stitching on the side or the bottom portion of the bag so that's one thing that you should be aware strap chain length for these two bags so for the double the chain length is pretty similar i think these are pretty similar chain length from top to the bottom just, this is just single single layer it's like 75 centimeter and for this one the chain length the single chain length is about is about the same but this one is a little bit longer than this one about three centimeter that makes sense because this is smaller bag and this is you know a little bit bigger than this one so people would prefer wearing this one in double chain in double layer so i've mentioned about the pros and cons from the video when i was comparing this bag this uh, bag in small size with the Gabra backpack the bottom portion is really hard and stiff so that's really good thing but then the leather itself is really soft it's not scratch resistant so you should be careful about that so if you were to get like scratch it with your nail it will stay there you should be careful and also the strap there are like three more holes here so you can always you know adjust the strap um, so you have to pull this leather a little bit and try to remove people tend to not to adjust the strap for the boy bag because they think that it will damage the bag or something but i think if you follow what i just showed you pull the leather here and then you know remove the ball from the leather like so then you can easily remove ball from the hole so let me show you what kind of things you can put into this bag before i put anything inside i'll show you how it looks like inside so it looks like this there is fabric red lining here huge slip pocket just one and there's one more small slip pocket here maybe you can put your lipstick here a zipper compartment here so you can put something like cash and receipts there is like a key holder or something like you can put your key here okay let's put this one inside this is 100 ml water bottle see if this ipad fits inside this is really old ipad but you know newer version is a little bit smaller than this one so maybe that can fit into this bag as well so you can put this bag vertically like this so yeah ipad mini can fit into this bag i think let's see cell phone here my wallet a pouch i usually put my car key inside my card holder cosmetics compact lipstick and cream facial mist small note it's pretty much full you can't really close it but this so this is pretty much it you can put so many stuff inside in comparison to the the hobo bag in small size i've shown you like what things can fit into that bag in that video 
that I uploaded. Let me show you again. I have this inner bag inside. Let me remove it, just to be fair. This one also has this key holder. And the inside is pretty much similar. Oh my gosh, this is almost full. Let me take out this wallet because it's too fat. Let's... Card holder. My compact. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Hand cream. Lipstick. That's about it. These are the things that I wasn't able to put inside this bag. So that's a huge difference, isn't it? Because this is pretty fat. And yeah, these two have volumes. Like There are things that I really need to carry. And the hobo bag in small size is um, too small for me. So I've always wanted this size and new medium size is really perfect so yeah, that's how much this bag can hold That's it for today. Thank you so much for visiting my channel and watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!